In this video I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall DeepSeek R1 from your Mac. And to do that I'm just first off going to prove I've got DeepSeek R1 running on my laptop and I do that by running the command olama run. So here we go, it's up and running, I'm just saying hello to it and it's had a little bit of think and it's come back with a, uh, a response. So I've got nothing for it now, I'm going to be getting rid of you so um, thanks a lot for all your efforts. So just get out of um, Olama and I'm just going to clear my terminal window. So first things first, I'm going to jump into Finder and show you where the language model lives. So you do that by going to folder and then typing in tilde forward slash full stop Olama and then forward slash models. So the models folder holds blobs which is the the language model data store and manifest which is the the bits and pieces which tell the Olama um, how to access these that this data store. So if I compare the file sizes with those on the Olama website I can see the 1.5 billion parameters 1.1 gigabyte file size. So that leads me to be supremely confident that this 1.12 gig file is actually DeepSeek R1. Now I know on my laptop I've only got DeepSeek R1, the 1.5 billion parameters and the 7 billion parameters on here. So it's really easy. If you've got 10, 20 language models then it may be a little bit harder for you to determine which ones to get rid of by file size. So rather than do that, I'm just going to use the terminal command. So this terminal command is olama rm for remove and then deepseek hyphen r1. And I'm going to go for the bigger one first. So I'm going to now put in colon 7b. And then press return. And now what you shall see, there you go, the large file, the 4 point whatever gigabyte file has disappeared. And I can do exactly the same for the 1.5 billion parameters. And again, that's cleared out the blobs, which is where the large files live, and also the manifests. So that's DeepSeek R1 gone. However, if you want to get rid of Olama as well, you can quit Olama. And again, there's some bits and pieces that you'll need to do. So first off, I'd go and um, put the Alarma application in my application folder into the trash so that removes the applications but there's also some uh, links that need removing so to fully remove Olama the first command is rm so for remove forward slash user usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash Olama ah and here you go here's the first thing that you might get I got permission denied and that's because I don't have the right privileges. So if I go to sudo space rm space forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash olama it's a bit of a mouthful then here we go he asked for the password and that's now executed that command. So I'm going to do a very similar command with a switch rf uh, in there so sudo rm switch rf tilde forward slash library forward slash application and then forward slash no backslash sorry support forward slash olama they're a bit of a mouthful so i'll pop these commands in the description so you can copy and paste them be a lot easier for you the final thing I'm just going to do is a bit of a tidy up job here because the folder where the blobs manifests they still exist so I'm just going to go in and do a, a sudo remove and then a switch rf and tilde forward slash full stop olama so that's just going to get rid of that final folder and clear everything out. So that is now DeepSeek R1's gone, but also Alarma has been removed from the system. So 
hopefully that's been useful for you um, for whatever reason that you don't want to have deep seek on your device for most people i think it's the large file sizes if they're not getting use out of the local language model um, and maybe they want to be using the cloud version so you know each to their own i have my own reasons for wanting to use language models locally and if you'd like to learn a little bit more about one of the ways i'm using local language models then have a look at this video over here